somebody needs haircut. Oh, what you represent to them is freedom. What the hell's wrong with freedom, man? That's what it's all about. Forget YouTubers. Uh, this is Mike Venger, 1969. So I'm um, doing a little video on a couple of things. Uh, I wanted to show you my um, my 7LE, um, which is right here. Now the story behind this, how I got this. I used to be in a pawn shop business in Toronto downtown. Uh, surprise, the Russian being in the pawn shop business. Um, <laughs> Uh, so basically, uh, I still have some friends that are uh, still in the business, and I, since I got into pipe smoking, I, I called one of them up and I uh, asked him if he had anything uh, available, and fortunately, he did, and that's one of them, and what it is, is a 7LE autograph, okay, uh, it comes in a beautiful velvet box, as you can see. Really, really nice velvet uh, case right here, and I'll show you the pipe. Now, the pipe is uh, the biggest one that I have in my collection. I say it's about two and a half inches tall. It is a plateau top, as you can see. The grain on it is a straight finish. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful grain on it. And um, just love the shape of this thing, totally. Uh, as you can see, the autograph is there. Okay. So that's my 7LE. I will be smoking it today at work, after lunch. Uh, I totally love this pipe. Uh, love it. Great smoke. Okay. Now, another thing that I um, bumped into uh, in one of the shops is actually, um, this is a, uh, well, I, I uh, modified it. This is, uh, um, originally is a cigarette uh, holder, um, you know, and um, what I've done is I modified it into, I thought it would be a really nice uh, tamper. Uh, it's uh, East European uh, work, as you can see. Could be Belarus, you know. Could be from um, Ukraine. I don't know. Um, part of Russia, maybe part, uh, maybe Poland. I'm not sure. But uh, from uh, from that area, anyway. So that's my tamper, which I think is kind of cool. I think it's different. All right. So, uh, what I wanted to talk to you about um, is that uh, we have a big event in Ontario on Friday 13th. It's uh, um, Port Dover Day. And uh, what it is, it's basically um, uh, Southwest Ontario. It's located at Lake Erie. It's a small town. And actually, there's only one main road that goes through it, in and out. Um, and basically, I've been going to uh, quite a few Port Dover Friday 13th. I've been there um, quite a few times. I, I totally love it, the atmosphere, great people, lots of fun. Uh, everybody just, it's a whole day party, uh, from morning till night. And... Um, Basically, what I, what I wanted to say is um, um, that I can't wait. Um, unfortunately, uh, I, I did sell my bike. This is uh, my bike. <laughs> you can see my camera reflection there. Um, that is my uh, little uh, Ultra. Um, Due to because, uh, you know, I guess a lame excuse, uh, I had a son, but, you know, that's, uh, that's uh, a lot more better than the bike, I guess, uh, but I still miss riding, and I, uh, I, uh, I wish I could get my bike back, um, hopefully, maybe next year, but I uh, just wanted to give you, like, a um, little history 
on the Port Dover, and the Port Dover is basically actually started originally uh, a lady bikers group, and uh, they decided to celebrate Friday the 13th, and uh, they decided to celebrate in Port Dover. So what happens uh, in 1981, um, I, I'm not, just a handful of people started this, and every year started to grow and grow and grow and it's right now it's it, the, the town cannot handle uh, how many people are coming in uh, every year uh, because of um, it's just a, a huge huge event uh, uh, police are trying to uh, you know um, to put uh, sort of order on it in a ways of uh, uh, they started putting stickers on everybody when you're driving in. They started to count how many people are coming in. They started to uh, look, uh, check everybody's uh, bags. They started to check everybody's licensing. They're, they're, you know, it's, uh, I think it's becoming a little too ridiculous. It's supposed to be a fun event. But in any case, um, I'm looking forward to it uh, this uh, coming um, Friday 13th. I actually got a friend's bike that I will be riding. Um, and there's a bunch of us that are actually leaving on Thursday, and uh, we're going to be staying in the town nearby overnight, and we're going to head down um, in the morning to uh, Port Dover. Uh, it gets uh, the lines gets pretty pretty funky over there. It they're large lines. We have a coffee chain of uh, Tim Hortons, and there's probably, uh, no exaggeration, about a kilometer, uh, you know, uh, wait to get a coffee. It's it's just uh, ridiculous. Um, the lines are crazy. All, all, the whole street is is packed with bikes. There's no cars allowed during that day inside town. So if you don't have a bike, there's actually shuttle service that is available that they have um, uh, near uh, town. They have uh, designated places where you park your car and the shuttle will actually uh, bring you to town and bring you back to your vehicle, which is kind of cool. It's, a, you know, which is really nice. Uh, from my understanding, um, there were some uh, uh, complaints uh, in regards to uh, the actual people, the, the residents of the town, you know, um, that it, it gets kind of, I wouldn't say rowdy, you know, you get a lot of people, it gets loud, put it this way, you know, but they, it's just, uh, it's a fun event uh, I, from, you know, I've been there probably a dozen times, I've never seen anything any fights or anybody being an idiot, you know, uh, you, you get f funky characters, uh, you know, uh, dressing up and all different kinds of stuff. Uh, the custom bikes there, uh, again, uh, everybody's just out there having a good time. That's what it's all about. So, um, wanted to uh, share uh, this with you, and I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And um, just wanted to say uh, to uh, Def Lily One, if you guys are not uh, subscribed to his channel, check him out. Check out his work on the pipes. Uh, he, he's an amazing pipe maker. And um, have a gr great day.